Management Sana Incorporate Sana A strong mind in a strong body Hi, I am Julie I'm here to welcome all the participants of the race A strong mind and a strong body are precisely what we shall deal in this hard, long waiting Independence Day Marathon of the year 2021 with a total prices of 1 billion rupees. As you can see, this year it is held in Bali, the so-called island of paradise. And the participants come from all over the world, with some even are the gold medal winners from other marathon races. So, the competition will be really tough among the participants. In this marathon, you will not only need strength, durability, and speed, but also strong will or spirit to finish the race. The winner is the one who can conquer the limitation in those things. So, not to make it any longer, let's prepare yourself to join the race. But to do so, you need to follow our rules. First, wear your proper gear. Of course, you cannot wear your pajamas even though it's light. And don't think to wear your sandals either. Second, never bring your food or dream along the race. You will be provided in some rest areas. The third, no gadgets or toys. And what? You're not in the playground. You're joining the race. And the fourth, focus on your running paths. Otherwise, if you don't follow this with full attention, you might get lost in the woods. In the fifth, enjoy the music and the songs that we provide to boost up your spirit. You can also dance while running though. Now, let's open up our race in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for making this day happen with good health and condition. We always need your steadfast love and provision as you are the only source of our life. Today we want to join another race of life. Please help us to become more than conquerors by knowing more about your truth. We open up our hearts and mind for the seeds of your words to grow wonderfully. And may all the things we do today just bring the glory to your name. We keep in faith that you have provided the blessings we need for ourselves and our loved ones around. In the name of Jesus we pray, Hallelujah, Amen.
Again to my holiday vlog, I'm at my villa playground now, and today is a very special day because I registered myself for a Bali marathon. And best thing is, I make a video of my training a month or a week before actually. Yeah. So I will show you the video, and with the help of my editor, please do those you know flashback effect, you know. Oh hi! Actually, I'm in the middle of my stretching. For my Bali Marathon training, Ugh. a few days ago, actually, my coach told me a very important verse, which is taken from Roman 8, verse 37. Ugh. In all these things, we are more than conquer through Him who loved us. That verse actually gave me a confidence boost, actually. Why? Because God is always there for us. He's a conqueror. He's already won over us. He's won over everything. That's why that verse gave me confidence. Hey, even like the most the most impossible thing God is to conquer which is sin God already won us over sin which is something impossible even for us humans to do it only God can do it which is why we as Christian our victory is not like as simple as you winning a game no because we are winning through Christ which is our own ultimate victory as a Christian, our ultimate victory itself is actually from God. Because as written in Romans 8 verse 37, in all these things, we are more than conqueror through Him who loved us. Which means, as I said before, that God already won, God already have victory over our sickness, our desperation, even in our most lowest point of life. Because God Himself he already conquered that, which is something impossible for us humans to do. That is why we, as a believer, as someone who is loved by God, we are the one over everything in our life because through God Himself, He already won it for us. Because, as I said before, God already did the most impossible thing that we humans can do, which is He won over that. That is why the verse Roman 8 verse 37 is really mind-blowing for me because it is something impossible and that verse itself also gives me peace and confidence because even though later in the marathon whether I win or lose it's okay because I know deep down 
that God already won over everything. Even in the for my future problems, even in my present problems, God already won over everything. So guys, I really want to thank you, my coach, for giving me this verse. And I will see you later in the future when I'm doing my Bali Marathon. Alright? So, catch you later. Bye-bye. Nedi, Nedi, there's a kids marathon coming up in Bali. Dad knows you love to run. Would you like to join? Mm, no, thanks Dad. I had a very bad experience in my last run. I tripped and fell. and was injured for the longest time. Do you remember Dad? I was such a failure. Nedi, you must not give up on your passion. Don't let the failure weigh you down. God has big plans in your life. You are God's masterpiece. No, Dad, no. Please don't force me, Dad. I don't want to fail again and embarrass myself. Well, if you ever change your mind, Dad will always be there for you. to leave you better I want my life to matter I am afraid I have no purpose here I watch the news on TV abandon myself daily I am afraid to let you see oh, me. when it falls when it falls pardon me the rain it falls when it falls so in the seeds of love and hope, love and love We don't have to stay stuck in the weeds
told the sun where to stand in the morning? And who told the ocean you can only come this far? And who showed the moon where to hide till evening? Whose words alone can catch a falling star? He 
is alive and he is with us today. He gives us the chance to be his friend and be more than a conqueror. Let's read today's power statement. Jesus is a conqueror and we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. Jesus is a conqueror and we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. What? I'm not crying. You're crying. Don't give me that tissue. I'm so proud of Madeline. Did you see her? You know, she was having problems with the last marathon where she fell. But then, God gave her courage to train with me. Yes, I'm her coach. I'm your coach, Madeline. And I'm so proud of you, girl. Congratulations for winning first place. Everyone, everyone. Madeline just showed us that we, all of us, can be winners through God. We can be more than conquerors. Yeah. To be more than conquerors means that we face the trials, the troubles in our life with Jesus because He fights for us. No attempt from the devil or even your own sin, whatever you do, can separate us from His love, which means we will be conquerors in our lives. When Paul says we are more than conquerors, he's telling us that in present tense, which means right now, in this current time, we can be victorious if we face our troubles with God. Of course, Living as Christians doesn't mean we're free from problems or sadness. But the verse in Romans chapter 8 verse 37 says that we can still come out as winners. Even though everything is against us, if we face the trials with Jesus, through our faith in Him, we will be winners. Very often, the devil or people around us might make us feel that we're not worthy of God's love. But again, that is not true because Jesus died on the cross for you, for me, for everyone. He shed his blood to save us and we cannot undo what he did on the cross. So children, Paul tells us that the only reason we are victorious in this life is through him that loved us. Our victory is in Jesus alone. So yes, we are conquerors, but remember, we have to do our part too. Like Madeline, she trained really hard with me. I'm a really good coach. And with the love of God, we are guaranteed to be victorious in our lives. So don't get this courage. Know that God loves you and He will guarantee that you will come out as victors in your life and do your part. Now let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for today. Today is a day that you have made and we know and trust you live in us. You equip and give us everything we need to endure, fight in the good fight in faith, so that more people will come to know you. Thank you for giving us such confidence in Romans 8 chapter 37, that we are more than conquerors through your love. Lord, we pray that we would walk in God's confidence knowing and trusting in your holy scripture that you are for us thank you lord we praise your name in jesus name we pray amen quiz time number one complete the smv in all these things we are more than blank through him who loved us romans 8 verse 37 a. Athletes B. Runners C. Conquerors D. Competitors E. Kids
Number 2. Jesus conquered death. True or false? 3. Beside death, what else did Jesus conquer for us? A. Sickness B. Pain C. Fear D. Failure E. All the above 4. Which of these is true? A. Christian life is free from problems B. Christian life is not free from problems but we can be conquerors through God's love. C. We can be conquerors by ourselves. D. We cannot be conquerors. E. All the above. 5. To be more than conquerors, we face the troubles of life blank. A. Alone. B. In fear. C. Sadly. D. With God who fight for us and make us victorious. E. Without faith. Thank you for watching. If you need any prayer requests, please WhatsApp us on this number and we will pray for you. I guess I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.